Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys another update. To be honest, I don't remember what day we're on. I think we're on day three. Yeah, okay, we're just about on day three. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. So I've got my uh, DPS displayed on screen. I'm going to take it off so you guys don't have to see the bulky text. This is mainly for Twitch. All right. Uh, got a lot of upgrades, so I'm going to go ahead and go through a T16 Crimson Temple, and then I'm going to go ahead and pretty much talk about it, right, just like usual. Um, some big things to note uh, on what occurred is uh, I have crafted my weapon. It's not really anything amazing, but it's a good start. Uh, I went ahead and made my big swap to my um, Skitterbot and Tempest Shield. Uh, a big spot where people mess up here is they take all the reservation on the tree, but they forget to take, however, is the uh, Essence of Loathing craft on your body armor for the extra reservation. If you do not do this, you need to anoint Charisma. Slapped in a Brutal Restraint, which is essentially giving me, um, for the most part, attack and cast speed, onslaught on kill, and movement speed, along with the nice deck. So going into this allowed me to basically drop uh, this right over here, this dex node, and then I could free up my onslaught flask for a amethyst flask. And then one of the next best parts about playing left side tree is we have the full setup now for gain uh, charges when it hit, and they are all fully automated. So I have LE res on my quartz, I've got regen on my granite, I've got movement speed on my amethyst, armor on my quicksilver, and curse effect reduction on my ruby. Do not follow this in a specific order or you're gonna spend so much currency. You don't even have to have all the, the exact affixes. I personally just think like armor, armor, regen are probably some of the two big ones for the most part. We also went ahead and downed Maven yesterday as well. Um, had our first death, ironically not to Maven. Uh, I was not paying attention and uh, got blasted by some Skelly Mages. Yeah, I got blasted by some Skelly Mages in a Malformation map. I really dislike maps where you cannot like immediately kind of dash to the side because of some stupid terrain and then you get you basically get blocked right and there's not much you can do but other than that the maven kill went really smooth gonna have to go ahead and pick up our uh uber elder kill probably maybe today probably in a few days i get pretty lazy so we'll see Still do not have my 21 gems. I was kind of half asleep when I was volleying my gems, and uh, I volled three. Well, I volled a lot, but one of my gems I volled. I volled a level 19 fire trap by accident, and it went to 21 or 20. So uh, there goes my RNG on uh, my fire trap. So I'll probably have to buy some 21 gems today. Uh, I got really lucky, and yesterday morning, when we are running maps, we got a eater shrine. And what an Eater Shrine, or a Divine Shrine from Eater, what that means is essentially one of the options on the shrines where um, uh, mobs have like a 2.5% chance to drop Divines. So I got four Divines out of it, and I pretty much immediately just put them into Awakened Gems. Not really a good investment, I would say, in terms of like Divine per... Uh, how do I explain it? Like... Uh, in terms of damage potential, I actually lost damage, so it definitely wasn't worth it. The thing is, is uh, with Righteous Fire and Elemental builds in general, um, so you have like Awakened Deli Focus, and when that hits level 5, you get plus 1 gem, and you also have um, Awakened Burn damage, and when that hits level 5, you get plus 1 gem. So you do ideally either A, want to get them as soon as you can if you're going to be playing for, you know, a little while, or B, your other option is you can just buy them straight up pre-leveled, which are just going to be more expensive, but that's when it gives you a really big benefit. Most of my money still comes from selling logbooks. Um, I'll probably be stopping Expedition at some point when I get bored of it. Uh, I'll probably be playing, doing a little bit of party play with one of my friends, and Expedition and party play can be a little weird sometimes. Uh, so we'll definitely see, although I do have a... We have a nice expedition danning over here. I think I saw logbooks. Fully, yo, fully linked and logbooks. Your time for some six links. Let's go. Um, actually, let me go 
Can I go this way? No? Okay. I want those. Immune to fire. Gee, well, that's amazing. Okay, let's click right here. How many do we have here? We got two over here. And then one there. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Okay, so this is kind of weird here. I'm going to just redo the whole thing. So we're going to do... Uh, we're going to have to ditch these two. So we'll take these. And then I will click this one. So make sure we did not get the immune to fire good. And then I'm going to click, like right over here to grab this guy and then we'll click here which hits that one up there and then we'll hit right over i guess yeah i'll just hit right over here and technically i have one left now oh i don't feel like redoing it that's too much work uh doesn't really matter where this one goes to be honest and we're good we're good so of course click that go back to town All right, so this is the weapon I crafted. Same exact way I crafted on my website. So I bought a fractured dot multi scepter. I used the essences of fear, which is how I got the minion roll. Um, and then the goal was to spam till I got something. So in this instance, I got burning damage. Then I crafted fire multi. If I got fire multi, I could craft increased damage. If I hit plus one fire, I could craft multi. So a lot of good options that can come from that. Uh, same helmet still. I'll probably put two divines into this at some point to try to get better prefixes. Same shield still. I did buy a new amulet. I think I spent quite a bit on this. I don't remember exactly how much. The purpose of this amulet is basically just double decks with res, fire res. Or sorry, plus one fire gems. I think because this has so much dex on it, what I'm probably going to do after I finish that, that dex roll there, I think I'm going to try to attribute catalyst it. But then again, I don't think I have dex problems right now, so there's not really a point. Uh, both of my rings are still the exact same. I don't know if you guys saw this one, actually. I bought it for 40c early on in the league. It's got a ton of resistance, so that is pretty nice. Uh, so for the body armor, again, I had Essence of Loathing, which I was basically just spamming to try to get ideally good armor prefixes. I did not really hit the armor prefixes I wanted, and I kind of just wanted to go with the chest piece, so I just went with something like this. Ideally, I'll probably buy a fractured base with, I'm not really sure what to get on the fracture to be honest, whether it's percent armor, flat armor, or even maybe physical damage reduction. Um, I'm trying to stay away from the life modifiers because I really want to get flat armor, percent armor, and then the Gravicious mod, which is the percentage of physical taken as fire and lightning. I find that to be incredibly strong. Um, same belt, I think I bought a better Immortal Flesh. Uh, with less minus res and more life and regen and then of course i still have my legacy of fury um, again brutal restraint the purpose of it is right now for me for a little bit of speed so attack and cast speed onslaught movement speed um, you, there's other options with like minion damage ellie damage i have a lot of this explained on my wikipedia and then i did actually get a drop and i decided to craft an unethical jewel so i got a fire multi-jewel drop we uh, aug slash alt spam to get life. I then, actually, other way around, I uh, alt augmented got uh, fire damage. I regaled damage over time and I exalted life. So pretty lucky, not gonna lie. Uh, if this was the leveling video, that would be unethical, but we are in trade league, so completely ethical. Let's go ahead and jump into this Crimson Temple. I think one of the only other things I could really think of is uh, I have, I don't remember, sorry, the days kind of get a little jumbled for me. I did do the respec where I dropped Unwavering Stance and the uh, Call to Arms. And the purpose of that is I like to use my Call to Arms in the earlier stages of progression. And early stages of progression can go all the way up to like 90 plus. It really depends on you as a person and your gear, right? Uh, the reasoning for it is when I'm doing these expeditions and stuff, I can press my Infernal Cry safely, knowing that it's going to go off immediately, right? As I get more tanky and I get more damage, and especially like I get phasing, I don't really feel the need to rely as heavy on my Infernal Cry, because my build clears enough, so I like doing the respect so I can save two points. Essentially, when you're dropping Unwavering Stance and you're dropping Call to Arms, 
you get two two points net value and you also get this node here which is like an armor and life node so i personally like that i also drop unwavering stance uh again this one is hard to exactly explain but for me personally i like having stun immunity because i play really recklessly so i dropped unyielding for unstoppable um and the purpose of this is i have good aoe i have good damage now i want to go faster and I want to be more consistent, so I took Unstoppable. You do not ever have to do this swap if you don't want to. It's really, It really does come down to preference. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. So, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Good luck on your Righteous Fire adventures. One other tip I can give. A lot of people seem to be ignoring the hybrid armor ES uh, stage in the POB. Um, I don't know if I have it in the POB, but I have info on the body armor. Instead of going for like a glorious plate, you can just use an armor ES base with the highest armor. It's a lot easier to color. However, for people who want to still use pure armor because it is objectively better, if you cannot get the uh, correct colors, like say you're getting three red, two blue, one green, instead of using, uh, I'm using Awaken Ink AoE, but you're probably using Efficacy. Instead of Efficacy, you could just use less duration and it will work for now, basically, right? All right, anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. I'm going to go ahead and head out. If you guys like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys later.